Hey Toy Fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing. And this time it is a Mezco 112 Collective. I believe it was a PX Preview Exclusive Magneto. Um, this is a figure that I've had for a while. Um, actually even forgot that I had it. Was going through some of my stuff and uh, stumbled on it. And I thought I'd do an unboxing. Because I um, haven't opened a 112 in a while. And... I love them. They're, you know, to me, they're uh, a really nice treat. So, I hadn't heard too much about this one. I don't think, I think people slept on it, to be honest. I don't know if it was one of the more popular ones. You know, the ones that everybody goes nuts over. Because uh, it's all they talk about. Either uh, the Roaches, Gomez, or uh, the Conan, or Nemo that just came out. But, um, but yeah, this uh, comes in one of the metal tins, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got big old X because this is one of um, when Magneto was a good guy during the Bendis run. And it's got Magneto on the side. Mezco 112 Collective or Mezco.com 112. And we got, sorry for the glare, but we have uh, Magneto on the back. The accessories. It's in the box, so get into that but yeah uh <laughs> magneto is depending on the day one of my probably two favorite x-men and nothing too no big surprises here it's like wolverine and magneto are my all-time favorite x-men but um i love the x-men i love the entire roster from x-men x-force x-factor um blue and gold just when it was back to one team, Claremont run, I love all X. Okay, so it's got your, be careful how to play with your toys. But, yeah, uh, Eric Magnus Lens here is definitely uh, top two, if not my favorite X-Men character of all time. And look at this. It looks like he's showing off the guns with this, uh, with this outfit. So, see if we can... Uh, well, I'll just leave him in here for just a second. You can see, looks like he comes with some energy burst or magnetic powers, a couple different hands. Um, doesn't look like he comes with too much, but um, which is kind of kind of different for a Mesco uh, 112 collector. We're usually packed to the brim with uh, accessories, but uh, other than maybe some steel beams, I don't know what he'd come with. Uh, some broken sentinel parts or something but anyways let's get in see what the figure has to offer it's a nice little case it's got already filling the soft goods um let's see let's get the, the plastic off of his face he's suffocating here it's got kind of a um it's not really a white, it's like more like a pearlescent um, helmet. And but he does have some white gear on and a, let's see. Hmm, can I get that focus? He's got cloth, soft goods. Uh, spandex going. He's got what looks like uh, interesting pleather on the outside, cloth on the inside, cape showing off the gun show. He's got kind of a uh, like his gauntlets or his his bracers here and his gloves are um, like they they've got that same pearlescent just. Uh, shine as his helmet does. I don't know if this helmet comes off or not. I think the whole head just comes off. But yeah, look at he's got like a he's got like a sinister grin there. Uh, more it's like definitely got more of an Ian McKellen kind of uh, Magneto face. I'm uh, I like the uh, if I'm gonna go with the movies, I like the Fast Bender Magneto. A little bit more but I like uh, just Magneto in the comics you know he's just uh, he always just looks like 
a uh, peak human. He's been de-aged a couple of times, and story-wise, so he's always just looking, looking young and buff, even when even old. But regardless, let's see what else we got. Stay him here for a second. Comes with another head, and this one is your classic, just dour grimacing. Face. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good head sculpt. Let's see if we can get this uh, it's off. Yeah, that's one thing I always like about the the Mesco 112 Collective is everything just pops on and pops off, and it's pretty satisfying when it does. Um, it's got some nicely detailed hair, but yeah, I think you got to go with the uh, with the helmet. But yeah. Um, the all white look like I was saying this was from originally the Brian Michael Bendis run of the X-Men where um, he was leading one of the teams or no he was actually on a team with Cyclops and uh, trying to get along with, with him but he's got some some open hands for for a pair of those oh well he's got two pairs of open hands for using your your magnetic powers um, also looks like it's pretty cool there's some some magnets on one side some hands on the other some sort of effect so if I can put some bullets or something oh well this one this one is pretty is a pretty serious effect it's with the hand on one side and gun being disassembled right there um, I don't know if you, whatever, whatever you want them to stick to maybe, or put some, uh, paper, paper clips, or, I don't know what the gimmick is, uh, supposed to be, but, looks like magnets, looks like he's got some magnets there, um, maybe the back of the box has a clue as to what I'm supposed to be doing with those, uh, um, two magnetic force effects, embedded magnets, two interchangeable left and right hands. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and pop one of those off and see if it if it looks sweet. I'm sure it does. Um, all right, and yeah, this is this other one is just so so serious like how how big is that holy man it's it's got it's got a set there's all the accessories that are in that one uh <laughs> in that one effect now he does this uh this cape is super interesting like i guess there is a wire in it that's pretty cool so you can you can do some wired wired effects but but it's like kind of soft on well it's soft on both sides but just like pleather and and cotton um or felt super interesting um do I want to take it off not really but he does have like a, a pretty cool, like it kind of, it kind of, it's kind of like a high collar, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what else is in here. Don't think it's any much else other than the uh, the stand, a uh, flight stand, and your Mesco bag. So yeah, that's not, not too. Uh, not too crazy. Um, not too shabby though. It's it's Magneto. They could have gave him a uh, like a metal a, like a like a metal post or something or broke broken Sentinel base. But you know, <laughs> I'm just thinking of the old Marvel Legend where he came with the the uh, Sentinel 
um, it's like the sentinel head or the sentinel body to to actually um, what's his his stand. This is pretty cool. But let's see. He's got a fist. I need I need a left hand or right hand actually. <laughs> he, he looks like he's up to no good with that face. But anyways, um, pretty cool. Uh, 112 Collective. Definitely, I don't think will be the one that's more sought after when you're going for Magnetos. Probably most people go for the classic um, purple look. But this is cool. I am a huge fan of the Hickman run where he's, where he's dotting the all-white. So uh, in comparison to the Marvel Legend who's got he said he's not doesn't have the exposed arms um but yeah that figure is pretty cool let's see almost the same design outside of this one's got a silver helmet and the exposed arms this one's got the plastic um cape which is kind of heavy um it's got Try set no if he wants to, you know, do some do some magnetic uh, robot action there. And in the Bendis run, he was hunting down um, the Red Skull. It was part of uh, when it's even in the in the comic, whatever in the single magnet Magneto comic, he was he was just trying to take down the Red Skull because of uh, some old old grudges from uh, World War Two. So. Anyways, uh, very cool figure. You know, just like any of your your uh, Mezco 112 collectives, you should definitely put them on display because these uh, these dudes are awesome. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you if you picked this one up, if you got the other one, if you like that one better. Um, and just because I haven't heard that much about um, the Magneto from Mezco 112, let me know what you think about them. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye.